looking for some Grim Vatter. It's been kind of a while since I've played it. Um, I've been playing a lot of Bloodstained lately on my PS4 and uh, it's great I'm, I'm messing around with the randomizer you know you get stuff that you're not supposed to get makes the gameplay quite uh, interesting so let's see if I remember how to play this masterpiece it's been a while and so I had like an hour or so in this lovely Sunday afternoon and thought why not try this new headset that I got. No it's not anything special but um, I kinda like it, it sounds great and uh, yeah seems my muscle memory is uh, making it possible. It's been months, I think. Uh, Grim Vatter is one of my favorite game uh, ever, and uh, I've been playing other stuff. I played Resident Evil 7 not too long ago. It was pretty good. Uh, I'm not much into um, first-person shooter, but um, it was pretty nice. Enjoy the story. Anyway, this is not uh, Resident Evil 7, this is Grim Vatter. So let's play some Grim Vatter. I've no idea if I uh, will be able to get the Slayer first time. Uh, if I don't, oh well. Every time I die, I'll gonna, I'm gonna take a sip of tea. I have some nice green tea right now. Also, I am on uh, Wi-Fi. I don't know uh, how stable this will be. I've heard that streaming on the Wi-Fi is uh, kind of dumb, but... I'm so rusty. It's not cool. She's eating hard. Honestly, I don't feel I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. I've taken too much damage already. You know, the, the good thing is, if I don't make it, I don't have to use the weapon that I don't like the moveset of. So... But even though if I don't like the moveset when I have it, I I cannot not use it. It's The damage output is too good to pass on, so... <clears throat> I mean, I want to... I want to succeed. That would be a great comeback. But uh, I don't have much faith in that. But who knows? Sometimes you can get lucky, I guess.
Even if she loses, she wins because she'll came she'll come back later in the game, so she don't have much to lose. Oh yes, good. And by the way, if you uh, if you succeed, uh, don't forget to grab the weapon because uh, you don't get it by default. Like if I click inspect, I lose the weapon. So don't forget to pick it up. It's an incredibly good weapon at that time in game. So don't forget. I love that music. Like, I like that music enough to listen to it on the bus. So, yeah. The lost kingdom of Valeris. Consumed by its own ambitions and its people turned into monstrosities. I'm watching it because it's been a while since Sealed I've seen it. And separated from the outside world. It was forgotten for generations. But then first abominations began appearing outside its borders. On royal orders, numerous scouts were dispatched to investigate the cause. And among them, a warrior with a mission to discover the fate of the lost King of Valeris. King Valor, under whose rule the land was lost. Most of the scouts found their demise at the hands of the Roman monstrosities. The rest vanished without a trace, and their fates remain unknown. All right, so you're probably hearing some click in the background because I'm playing with the backbone iPhone backbone combo and uh, while the backbone is a very nice controller the feeling it is great but uh, man those clicky buttons they really get on my nerves real real quick I can't tell you but it's definitely um, uh, more premium than the Razer Kishi but the Kishi is Pretty uh, not noisy, let's say. Yeah, I don't like that move set. Definitely prefer the sword. A note on a body. We've found the way into Bright Wall, but the route forward is beset with roaming monsters. Our unit is being stalked by something, and we've suffered heavy casualties, requesting reinforcement. Oh well, trust me, reinforcements are coming. I'm here now. Well, they are all dead, but, you know. And I don't... There's a bunch of stuff hidden everywhere and I don't quite remember let's hope that uh, muscle memory will do its thing I've played so much of this game I really do love it like I've said uh, I've played a lot of Bloodstained lately and uh, it's absolutely a fantastic metroidvania but uh, in, in Grim Valor, your your movement is kind of floaty in a, in a good way. I like the floatiness in in uh, in Bloodstain and honestly in most Metroidvania I've played, it's quite um, uh, man. I don't have the words. Uh, it's not floaty. Let's put it that way. And I remember when I first started playing uh, Grim Vader, I thought, man, it's quite floaty. But in the end, after a long time, 
I can say that uh, I like this better. I don't know if you have any other example of Metroidvania with floaty movement. And 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 Grim Vader is is weird in that way because it, it it's floaty, but it's also very precise in, in a way. It's hard to explain. You really have to uh, to play it yourself. I think I got this game for like two dollars. This is ridiculous. You know, while I don't like the move set of this weapon. Uh, for this bus, it's 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 pretty good. I won't lie. Um, so I'm gonna level up the same way I always did. Uh, I want to um, uh, do more critical hits, so I'm gonna do that, and I want to die a bit less quickly. I don't have a plan. You know, I have no idea what I'm doing with those stats. Even after all this time. I should try a run like only mastery or only uh, one, uh, one thing or another, just to see. You can respect later on. Uh, no, my squad, damn it all. That burning witch was stalking us for days, taking us out one by one. We found a lead on our mission and tried to get to the city of Brightwall. But the way to the city was guarded by a gigantic monster and we had to flee. On the way back, the cursed witch ambushed us and I managed to drive it off, but damn it. You should keep moving. I will rest here for a bit. With the dead bodies of your teammates. This room is a dead end. Dead. There was a stretch of wall that looked weak. So, yeah, yeah. We are gonna equip that as a sub weapon. Uh, oh. Alright. You can crush this wall just by hitting it repeatedly if you don't want to spend your uh, your soul energy, but it's so easy to get. Um, With this weapon, it's a joke. Man, it feels good to be back. There's so many games to play and so little time. And I always end up playing the same stuff over and over again. What I've started to do uh, lately is to um, uh, my local library. Uh, at my local library, you can borrow uh, books, of course, but you can also borrow video games for free. You get to keep them. Like a week minimum, but 
if nobody uh, reserved it, uh, you can get it again for another week and another week. So um, that's how I've played Resident Evil 7 actually. And I also tried uh, to replay one of my favorites from back in the days, which is Shemnu. And so uh, I wasn't able to. Uh, it's it felt so dated. Um, I, I was so disappointed to not like it anymore. But uh, yeah, I wasn't able to go through that. Uh, which is unfortunate because I never played the third entry in the series and I didn't want to play um, the third one without going back to uh, the first two. Uh, what I will probably end up doing is uh, is uh, look some uh, playthrough of other people on YouTube. And then I will borrow uh, the third one. That's the plan. Can I equip that? Yes. I think you always can, actually. I've seen some people stream it, stream uh, Grim Vatter. Some people are still playing years later. We are all. Uh, waiting for Grim Valor 2. I doubt it will come. You there, friend. Won't you help a stranger in plight? I was just looking for a way into Lowlands Monastery, but... Uh, and got stuck here by accident. Of course I'm gonna help you, dude. Thank you, friend. Here's the key to the monastery door. Maybe you'll have better luck. I'm cutting my losses and returning to the Nexus. Get out quickly before the monsters come back. You are no match to the beasts. And uh, yeah, it's true, but um, I will still go and take the, the, the treasures up there. Uh, because there's some good stuff. We just need to not die. We bring him here and that, that. I think we have it all. And we're fleeing because uh, we're cowards, I guess. They just have a lot of HP and they are annoying to fight. Just a quick save in case my rustiness is kidding me. Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't die yet. I did a few uh, playthrough of this uh, of this game, um, and on New Game Plus, I always thought I should add a, a death counter because I'm dying all the time. I'm not patient enough. I think that's the that's the my issue. I think this is the easiest way to get this guy. You uh, you go as far as you can, and then he will charge. But he's charging very slowly. It's quite easy to uh, to jump over. So, oh yeah. 
This is a uh, Souls-like healing mechanics. When you save, you replenish your... Uh... Now I feel bad because I don't remember how it's called. Your mending flask. And you can have up to uh, 9 or 10, something like that. When you upgrade or... You know, you find upgrade uh, as treasures. So, by activating this, we will have our shop, we will have a save point, and a quick travel. Which is great. Ah, my savior, good to see you again. You don't look like a local to me. You don't know what this place is. It's called a Nexus, and it connects to dozens of places all over Valaris. It exists in all those places at the same time, or something and is a really handy way to get around. Or it used to be anyway. I think it's broken, just like everything else around here. Anyway, I heated up the forge. You should find it plenty useful, but no need to thank me. I'll hang around here for a while still. Come chat if you ever feeling lonely. <coughs> we won't need the forge in Act 1, because... Uh, we have a good weapon, so we'll just skip that. For those who don't know, this game is kind of connected to Sword Go, an old, uh, an old game on iOS and probably Android. made by a small Finnish company can be more more much more indeed than that you know when you think about that um, she was resting you know with her dead friends and we had the key to get here so how a anyway ah, good to see you again in one piece I haven't seen anyone else. I, uh, well, I haven't seen anyone else around, so I fear it might be just the two of us now. Our iron swords may not be enough for the task at hand, so we'd better har arm up with anything else we might find. You're cleaning fairy m faring much better than I am, so might I ask you a favor? I need to get to Lolenburg. One of my squad found something there that is of great interest to me. However, when I tried getting there, I barely got away with my life. Would you clear the way for me? I mean, yes, of course, but you got here first, so I don't know what to tell you. We really need to uh, not think of those type of things in video games because, uh, and, I mean, in movies to be fair too, because it's it's falling apart r real quick. We could say that uh, there is friendly fire in this game. Uh, I think I need more health because I suck and I need uh, this at least. I think I'm gonna go with two to be sure. There's a trinket here. That is quite useful to equip. Um.
now I don't remember if I go up or down first. We're gonna go down. I hope it's the... Uh, oh, good. Good. I'm pretty bad with uh, routing those things. Never remember. And in this game, uh, New Game Plus, uh, what they do is, uh, of course, the enemies are stronger and it's not the same enemies. And they all also uh, messes up. They're, they're messing us up with the maps. They're not connected in the exact same way. And, and there's some stuff that doesn't work anymore. And uh, it, it, it's always messing with my head because... Uh, I can I cannot seem to uh, remember which is in New Game Plus and which one is in normal mode. So it is what it is. Well, it's gonna be fine. I hope the mic volume is fine. I did a few tests, but uh, I'm not used to uh, do those types of, uh, of things. Oh, I hope it's fine. Good will reduce the damage by fire and the the, the boss of this uh, of this act is using quite a bit of fire can I buy no Yeah, and, um, like I was saying earlier, I don't think we're gonna see a uh, Grim Vader 2. I wish, but the company making the game has been dead silent for uh, a very, very long time now. We got New Game Plus, I think, in April, uh, April 2020, so... It's been two years, so I don't believe uh, that we're gonna get another game by them 
anytime soon or maybe ever maybe it was just you know a one-time thing that they did I even sent them a, an email asking hey think you're gonna make something else and yeah I mean I didn't expect it to get any any return from them but still I tried I would love that. You know, I'm not too uh, too fond on uh, paying for Kickstarter stuff, but I would gladly pay for Grim Vader too. Ah, here you are. This carcass is what I came here for. Yeah, you're gonna be disappointed. No, this isn't it. This is not what I was looking for at all. I had heard that a great dragon called Bar calls Vadaris its own, but this was just another corrupted monster. A false lead, but you were a great help nonetheless. Thank you. Help yourself to anything you might find here. You've earned it. Well, yeah, try to uh, prevent me from taking stuff. Those are used for uh, crafting, which we won't do in Act 1. But in Act 2 we are gonna need to, uh, to craft an armor and some weapon. Next, I think I'm gonna go full mastery. But we'll see. This one is quite annoying. It's really the enemy I dislike the most. I always felt they were Im unpredictable. They rushes at you without much of a warning. I think it's garbage too. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool, but. Oh well, it's quite better than this. I like that the, you can see the changes in your weapon. The wind cutter is a really nice looking katana. That you get in Act 4, I think. It's a quite well hidden weapon. I'm saving quite often, but you know, I'm not too confident in my. Uh, in my abilities right now. I mean, to be fair, it's going a bit better than I expected. Because as I've said, it's it's been kind of a while. But overall, it's not too bad. 
Oh, come on. Can I just go? Maybe? No. I won't say no to some XP, I guess. Almost done with Act 1. I think there's another of those things that I hate here. Um, yep. I hate those things. I'm playing on the arachnophobia mode. I don't think it's relevant for this part, but they uh, they change uh, spiders for something that looks like a scorpion or something like that. You know, I, I hate spiders, but it's not something that will prevent me to play a game. But if you give me the option, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Uh, uh yeah. It it's less powerful, but for one, it's better looking, and I really prefer the move sets of uh, the sword. I really don't like. The, the big broken sword. I mean, I like the damage output though. Is the book here? Yeah. Here's some lore. As relentless and intimidating as the corrupted rank and file are, they pale in comparison to the fallen siege breakers. The lumbering brutes can engulf our fortifications in flames and pull the defenders straight off the palisade to their death. Only with numbers can they slay their kind, throwing soldiers against their shields faster than they can kill. Caught by themselves, a lone fighter can only hope for a quick death. Or, instead of sending many soldiers, you can send me. I'm gonna take care of it. In New Game Plus you have an ability that uh, you can kind of teleport to enemies and it's real great for uh, 
traversal stuff. I miss it every time I play uh, normal mode. I always want that, that ability. And instead of leveling up, uh, I'm gonna buy this. I think we will have better chance. And can I level? Oh, I can still level up. Uh, health. Um, I want to hit quick. And uh, yeah, let's go with that. Honestly, I have the feeling that uh, we will get a uh, you died screen. But you know, I'm, I'm a pessimistic kind of person, so maybe I'm wrong. is gonna send his thing and bring us in the fire if we're not careful but you know we are It was almost a flawless victory, I'm, I'm very disappointed right now, I won't lie. But, you know, they said you can only wish for a quick death. Or you can be me and kill it real quick. Out of the piano track. Out of all the tracks, actually. Hmm. Someone as small as you slew the lowland siege breaker? How unexpected, unlikely even. But you possess the fragment the abomination was guarding, so it must be true. What drives you, I wonder? Why do you throw yourself into battle? I am called Alicia. Yes, Alicia the Deceiver. Perhaps we'll talk more later. We will talk with our sword. That's what we'll do. Um, <coughs> so, we have a new fragment. So we can enter Act 2. Finally, Bright Wall Plains. Do I need to upgrade? Yeah, the water. The weather is garbage, indeed. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, see, this is quite better than what I'm using right now. Uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, and I love the gloves, too, because they give you uh, some interesting move to go in uh, higher places. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go with the sword. Uh, what do I do usually? Because I think at the beginning of this act, you have a pretty good sword. Uh, oh man. Uh, ah, the sword is pretty. Let's go with that. But I will probably regret it. I think I usually go with the gloves or armor not sure hmm bright wall there is something I would ask of you little warrior this land is corrupt and the city is lost to roaming monstrosities bright wall was brought down by a beast an ogre that used to be a man Williard by name before the corruption changed him he was charged with protecting something very important. Something that we will need to set things right. Exact justice for the lives lost and retrieve Williard's treasure, little warrior. I will do as you say, but not because you said it. Intent matters, that's what they say. See a lot of people having trouble with uh, um, using the orbs to go in, in higher place, but you have to keep your momentum and swing your sword at the right time. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Below the crystal of blades, we left it undisturbed and untouched. Find it and let the boon of the old gods guide your way. But yeah, um, uh, you. Uh, first of all, sometimes I see people trying to do that with um, <laughs> something else than a sword, and uh, yeah, it's hard. Um, but yeah, the thing is, you 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 jump high, and you. and you hit late that's anyway I'm bad at explaining uh, things but it's, it's criticism I've seen often for uh, Grim Vader, that the platforming was was really hard and when people say platforming they mostly say uh, orbs because uh, jumping from places to places you got you have double jump right at the start so it's not what's hard um, this is really those orbs that people have issues with and uh, they're not there's one place in act 4 that is an absolute nightmare for most people me included and this is where uh, you can use the gloves to uh, help with that. Now I'm gonna suck here, I'm gonna look like a fool with my platforming. Uh, don't even need to use the orbs. Okay. 
uh, is this the dark place? Yes. Cave of the Corrupt. There's quite a bit of uh, crafting materials here. And those things are quite easy to kill, so... Uh, it's quick XP. Then we have an upgrade. So when you you, you find an, the same trinket twice, it gives a level more. One more level. Anyway, you you, you know what I mean. And what did I miss? Uh, see, that's that that's what happens when you. Uh, Stop playing your your game. You forget stuff. I'm not somebody who absolutely wants like 100% of anything, but this place is easy to uh, to get everything usually, and I'm kind of annoyed by uh, missing something. Well, I guess, uh, oh, need to follow the light, that's what you need. All right. I don't think I've got everything from uh, Act 1. I think I forgot something. But you know, it's it's fine. And before that, we're gonna buy a trinket here. Uh, this one I like. It makes a shockwave when you uh, do one of your strikes. Uh, no. No. Alright. I wish we, we could... S I, I, I wish we would be able to sell stuff. To get some currency. Like, it's something I would want in Grim Vader 2. I made a video about what I want in Grim Vader 2, but... I didn't speak about that. Uh, but, yeah. Being able to sell stuff would be great, I think. I have no idea where to go first. There is an uh, optimal route, let's say. And I can't, I really can't remember. Uh, We can at least go get some treasure, and I think there's a hunter in there, just in case. Peasy lemon squeezy, something like that. <clears throat> it's no use. Mondays, am I right? Uh, 
No, nothing. No, no. No hunters, no. I mean, I'll take it. I won't be mad. Ah, a slayer fight. I remember your moves better now. I think you're gonna lose. This is fatal. If if she hits you with that, you're gone. So this is really the move to look out for. When she raises her sword in the air, you run away. You don't do like you just don't care. Um, and oh, don't forget to... Um, once you've beaten her, don't forget to inspect this again, because uh, you won't get your prize. Uh, yeah, um, Ah, yeah, and the weapon is, is just here. Uh, and there's a hunter that I don't like. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Uh, well, the one I crafted is a bit better, but yeah. I could have had the gloves or the armor instead. That's why I usually don't uh, don't buy the sword. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah, man, I hate those things. Um, so when you die. It's not too bad because you still have what you uh, like the, the mercenary mercenary blade. I still have it, so uh, it it's not you know you don't it's it's not like Dark Souls. You don't lose currency. You don't lose uh, you don't lose much. It's it's just a minor inconvenience. And yes, I'm skipping that fight right now. I'm. Uh, I can't be bothered to do it. Now let's uh, let's be more healthy and uh, quicker, and uh, let's begin to work for our next next trinket slot. Oh, and uh, let's level up again. Or not. Uh, instead, I'm gonna buy a uh, an upgrade. Good. And I uh, can have the gloves. And with the gloves, you can do that, which helps with getting to a high places. Mm. 
Maybe I should go back to uh, the place I didn't went. I'm not sure. This is annoying. This guy is not too hard. You just uh, just need to look out for his uh, hammer swing and that. But that's all. It's nothing else. <laughs> Those guys are with uh, no one. They uh, they kill everybody. Okay, so we got the key. Almost. Okay. Able to go and open that door. And we are also missing a book. Um, ah, there it is. Uh, you're supposed to uh, read the book before fighting the the big guy. No? Uh well I don't know then. Let's just get out of here. Those guys are very strong. I skip it all, it's it's so much time consuming and see those those purple orb they're uh, very deadly and I can't yeah I don't want to uh, deal with that. I just don't. It is what it is. Can't. 
Uh, Kaled. So many no's. I just want to, to be stronger. Oh yeah, we're we're uh, definitely missing a book in this. So this is Willyard. It's gonna call a friend, and in New Game Plus you have to kill them both at the same time. But in normal mode you can just uh, you have all the time. You can kill them in the the way you like. gonna keep on uh, working on this guy Take a moment to heal. But like in New Game Plus right now, the other one would be at full health and uh, back. So uh, it's quite harder. So Act 2 is done. Oh, we're still missing a place. Um, we will look into it. Once you're in uh, Act 3, you can go back to Act 2. It's kind of seamless, you know, it's not... You're not locked out of, of anything. Apart from, from the very beginning of the game. I would have your attention for a moment, little warrior. I confess, I did not think much of you at first, but you have proven exceptionally capable. It is clear to me that you seek to eradicate the heart of corruption in this land, a goal which we share. And its heart lies right here, behind these doors, under these locks. The source is King Vader himself, twisted and driven into insanity by an enemy's curse. He was imprisoned and sealed here in hopes of containing the corruption oozing from his malformed body. You must find a way to open this passage, little warrior. Well, <laughs> she didn't say little. Alright. Let's uh, put that here. In order to get King Vader, we need the staff of the mage whose spell blocks the throne room. He is, however, somewhere we can't reach yet. The only way to do this is to find the rest of the missing fragments and complete the Nexus Gate. I know for a fact there is one somewhere here, in these ruins, but I don't know where. You should, you should search on foot while I go through any records I might find. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go back to Act 2 and here. Okay, so there's one place we didn't went to. And it's bugging me. I guess it's an elevator I didn't take. Like, yeah, this. Okay. 
I think there's a book here. And the lore is very... I like it, so... I want to share it with everybody I can. You can play this on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know um, how good it plays, to be completely honest. But uh, my old phone was running this without any issues, so... I guess the Switch is probably fine. Ha! Huh. Was it you that opened that door? Thank you. Well, we almost forgot you, though. I found myself trapped in the mines ahead and thought for certain my days would to be numbered. I was looking for a place called the Tower of Despair for a clue on the Dragon of Vedaris. Apparently, in the tower there is a hidden vault which, with great riches and knowledge. I had no luck finding it, however, but instead became very aware of the limits of my ability. If you keep going this way and you find the tower, might I ask you to keep an eye out for the vault? I'm sure you would benefit from whatever else they hold there. Yeah, there's a few great uh, things there. Let's clear that. Those things are vomiting the, the worst of everything, like you uh, you get poisoned and you get slowed by that. Kinda sucks. Oh, man. Okay. Thunder Cross. Uh, this... Oh yeah, okay. When we dodge we get more crit, but we can't equip it yet because we don't have enough uh, focus. So we're gonna need to upgrade that to be able to use it. I love the gloves. All all of this content is actually optional. That's that's quite interesting to think about. I could have not went back here and it would have been fine. So can I yes, okay. This uh We're gonna be able to equip our new trinket. Can I have my... No. I wouldn't say no to more health. Ah, there is the book. The elders weren't first spotted until well into the second winter of the siege on Sanctuary Keep. At first glance, we took them for a little more than beasts. Fierce and brutish, but driven more by instinct rather than intelligence. But there were cunning minds behind those grotesque appearances, and their true natures became apparent soon enough. 
So, there's the lore for the ogres. <clears throat> Free of charge. This is kind of the same, but with an axe. They share pretty much the same animations. Thank God for friendly fire. That's great. Um, the Tower of Despair. Mondays, am I right? Um... I think I'm gonna go back because we've unlocked the door and we're gonna do the Tower of Despair after that. Seems to make more sense to me. Thank you. I go now. Good. We almost forgotten the forgotten chambers. Aren't this guy usually up in on the the little thing there? Kinda weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that was kind of funny. All right. No. There's not much consequences to uh, to failure in the game. Which is kind of great. I remember uh, when playing Dark Souls, uh, you had to walk back to, uh, to the bosses that you uh, were killed at, and man, walking back, uh, that, that kind of sucks, honestly. I like Dark Souls, you know, but... Uh, I would have preferred less uh, walking back to the bosses. I've heard they um, they settled that in uh, in Elden Ring. Seems they they, they did uh, something different for for that. Haven't played it yet. I will most certainly do. But you know, I tend to play. Uh, old games so I'm gonna probably play Elden Ring when uh, Elden Ring is not cool anymore I just played Resident Evil 7 a few a uh, few weeks ago just to give you an example of how I'm doing 
gaming. And Resident Evil is what, like 2016, 17, something like that? It's not, you know, super old, but. It's not, uh, it's not new. I really enjoyed it. I know I've talked about it, but the story was great. Was, I, I was surprised about that game. really didn't think I would uh, enjoy it as much as I did. Um. Don't, uh, don't break the the fire down if enemies falls there they will uh, they will die in the fire or maybe i will like that don't want and so King Valor himself climbed the steps of Sanctuary Mountain to present the dragon an ultimatum either the silver dragon would submit to servitude or all its kin would be annihilated by the blade of the royal dragon slayer with little recourse the dragon yielded and King Valor descended the mountain victorious a vial of dragon blood in hand, but also unknowingly carrying the dragon's poison in his heart. All right, so we did Act Two. Kind of, uh, we're missing a few. Uh, it's mostly crafting stuff. So it's not too bad. Good to see you again, friend. Hmm, what's this, a book? Hmm, I see Sanctuary Mountain. That'll be my destination then. Thank you, friend, you have helped me once again. I have a good feeling about this one. Yeah, well, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, that won't be that great. You will end up in a jail, and I'm gonna have to save you once again. We'll go back to the Nexus and to Act 3. Although I think it's gonna probably it for this one. Gonna go, gonna do Act 3 a little bit later. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Don't know. So anyway, thanks for watching, if anybody did, and uh, yeah, we'll see you real soon, bye.